Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at installing Magic Lantern onto the Canon EOS M. First thing you need to do to get the Magic Lantern software is go to the Magic Lantern website. So if you open up your web browser and go to magiclantern.fm and you'll get a nice picture of a Canon DSLR in front of you or the back, the back of a Canon DSLR uh, with, um, with a, an example menu and over here you've got home downloads forum support and about there is a forum on here so you can talk to other Magic Lantern users and coders and all that kind of thing and get, get an idea of, uh, of things if you if you want in anything specific under support you've got an FAQ, a wiki, install guide and a user guide which are all very useful links if you want to browse through those and familiarize yourself for the software itself click on the downloads tab and you'll see a warning here which is your generic hey you do this at your own risk warning and then a bit of information about nightly builds now nightly builds are the only things that are available currently apparently there did used to be a last stable build option but that's not the case anymore scroll down the screen and click on download nightly builds in the orange box and then you'll be presented with a list of cameras select your camera from the list the Canon EOS M and then here you'll have a list of the previous builds and what was introduced to them. Scroll down the screen you'll get a rough um, installation and uninstallation guide. But the button we're interested in is this one at the top. So if you click on this, what will happen is you get your Magic Lantern download, which will download as a zip file that you can see down here. If you then open the zip file and extract the files within, and there should be three files, into a folder which I will be which I've put on the desktop just here, titled ML for Magic Lantern. And if you open that up, you should see three folders: ML autoexec.bin and ML-setup.fir. These are the three three files that you're going to copy onto your memory card to install Magic Lantern onto your Canon EOS M. The next step in the process, we uh, we take our camera. Switch it on, and we have um, files on the camera. So anything that you've got on there, you need to. If they're ones that you want to save, you need to get those onto your computer, so that we can wipe the card. So you go into your menu, under the first spanner, select Format Card. Make sure Low Level Format is selected. Click OK either on the screen or with, with the button. And what we should have now is nothing on the card at all. So we've formatted that card. Switch off your camera. Pop out the card. And onto this newly formatted card we need to copy the Magic Lantern files. So paste those three files onto the card and eject the card. Pop that back into the camera. It's important incidentally to make sure that your battery is fully charged. And then switch on the camera it'll start up as normal. Go into your menu and across to the fourth spanner icon that you can see there and down to firmware version. OK that. And it will ask if you want to update the firmware. So actually just go back just so you can see you've got camera and lens firmware version so you need to have camera highlighted it will ask if you want to update the firmware click OK and here you can see it's going through the process of Magic Lantern so switch the camera off Switch the camera back on, so you're rebooting your camera. And 
and installed we have Magic Lantern. Double tap on the screen brings up the menu. And as you can see we now have all the menus and we can scroll up and down accordingly. And we can see all the settings including the important one that I wanted to check there which was the shutter count which uh, various bits of software failed to uh, to get for me and I'm not going to go through the features of Magic Lantern partly because A I don't know them all um, and uh, I'm quite new to this and just basically finding my way in and uh, the features, I will tell you the features that I'm installing this for and the reason that I want uh, wanted Magic Lantern on here and that was for um, for zebra striping just because I'm getting I'm kind of getting into the whole video thing a little bit more which uh, and I understand the zebra striping is very useful for under and over exposed areas focus peaking for manual focus which I find is critical when using either an EVF or a, um, or a view screen like this one when you're manual focusing and this particular camera right here that I'm videoing on the Fuji X30 uh, which has focus peaking as part of its menu and it is fantastic it's, it really really does aid manual focusing uh, superbly because the EVFs even on this which is good is is just not good enough and even and the view screen it's it's not good enough unless you punch in really close which you can do on on this one and also on this one so but um, when you're focusing quite quickly it's really useful so um, so the focus peaking and the shutter count are the two main reasons that uh, I wanted to install this but of course if you've been reading a little bit about Magic Lantern you will know that um, that you've got a, a huge raft of features especially when it comes to your movie features and uh, one of the other things that I, I do want to play with is um, is the time lapse option, which again the Fuji X30 has a time lapse option. It's not a huge array of settings, but it does have a time lapse option, and uh, and that's uh, Magic Lantern gives you that on uh, on this particular camera. So uh, so that's that's where we're at. That's how to install Magic Lantern on the Canon EOS M. And uh, thank you for watching.